Hi, my name is Sam and this is a Viso 8.1 tutorial on exporting volume renderings using a Viso and Recap 360 by Autodesk. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to use Teddy we're going to open the Teddy Bear which is in data and then go to Teddy Bear and you just select all of these and click open. And then you just click on volume rendering. We want to take this down to let's say 50. So the first thing, next thing we want to do is we want to delete, or as we're going to go to, we're going to change the color map to temperature. And what I did with this color map is I changed this from 100 to zero to make it transparent, the outside part transparent. So give us, this gives us a really creepy teddy bear sitting on something. So what we're going to, but we can't export this with a regular converting it to surface and then doing that. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to need to zoom out. Make sure you can turn it all and it stays in the view. Just want that. It matters a lot that you can do that. And then we're going to create an object called camera orbit. And we're going to set the time at zero recompute and we're going to set it value. And in two seconds, we want it to rotate 360 degrees. So each second, we're going to set the frame rate to not 25, but let's say, but 50. So premier, for so recap 360 can I'll can take in about 250 frames. So we're going to use recompute, and we're just going to go to six sec. And we want to do one second of this. Okay? So the idea behind this is to take photos of it turning around to get a 3D picture. So the next thing we want to do is we want to use the same camera orbit and use an action. And we want to change the which way it's going. So right here it's using most vertical. So right here let's have it use x-axis okay so we're just going to go through all five of these options so here time value in a second time value again and we just want to redo this Three, five times. Okay, and at each of these times, we're going to change it to Y axis action. Z axis action. up direction, action, and finally right here we're going to go to 360 and use time. So now that we have this animation, let's see what happens. So this does all five rotations, so animations. We're going to export these. And we're going to, instead of exporting them as an MPG movie, we're going to export them as JPEGs. We're going to set the input to 4,000 by 3,000. This does not need to be a perfect ratio. It can just be as big as you want. So, but I'm going to choose this one because it's in the middle and it's not too, too big. We want anti-aliasing 4. And we're just going to click... We also want to save this. Instead of saving it in just a random place, you want to save it to an external drive and save it into a new folder. Because this is going to create over, it's going to create 250 images. And you don't want that. So I'm going to call it Teddy Bear Scan. And I'm just going to go Teddy Bear underscore and then we'll add a number after that for everyone okay 
and I'm just going to click create movie. So this comes up really, really, really big because I set the pixel ratio at such a high resolution. So you, with the, with my recording software, you can't really see the entire thing. So I'll come back once I have the entire thing done. So now I have all 250 images. So what we're going to do now is we're going to upload all these images to, to Recap 360. So I'm going to go ahead and go here and just go to Recap 360. So it's just you can just search Recap 360 by Autodesk and get... I am using my student free version. So you can either buy it. It's really amazing what you can do with it. So first thing we want to do is we're going to create a new photo project. I'm going to name it Teddy Bear. And we want this to use Ultra, and we want all of these to be clicked. And we want to use Smart Texturing and Smart Cropping. Next, we're going to upload all these files. Next, we're going to upload all these files. So while this is, I'll come back once this, this is finished uploading. Okay, so once you have everything uploaded, you just click next. And this will be all your images. So you don't need any advanced tools. You just click next and it will give you this pop-up window that says project su successfully submitted. And then it just goes there, and it'll be in queue. So it ta this takes 10 hours to process, in my experience. But it can take either anywhere from an hour to about three days, depending on Autodesk servers. So I'll come back when this is done and show you how you can download it. Hi, we're back, and now this is finished rendering. So now we're just going to click open. And... Don't worry if this takes too long, it has to load all the mesh, which is 200,000 triangles, which is a good amount. You can download to get the full mesh, and I can, I'll can show you how to do that in a few seconds. So look, there's the teddy bear. So right here, you can see how the mesh is a tiny bit bent. So you can go back in and just add more photos of this area, and that will fix that, and then you will need to re-render it, which is really annoying but it's fine. So, so now that you have this, you can just go, go back to home and I'll show you how to download it. So you just click on this download button and you can just select which one you want to download. I'm going to download it as an FBX and see it just downloads right there. You can share it on the Recap 360 gallery by just clicking there. And that's basically it. So thanks for watching this tutorial. And now you have learned how to create a super creepy teddy bear.